Hi guys, welcome back to my second installment of Slash My Stash, where I'm making an attempt to thin out my nail polish collection just a little bit so I can show more appreciation to the polishes that I keep and pass um, some polishes on to, you know, another person that may think to use the polishes more than I have been thinking to use them while I just sit them on my shelves and just look at them for how beautiful they are. But I wanna keep the ones that I'm actually realistically gonna wear. So last time we did Pure Ice, today we are doing Color Club. This is a very long video, but you guys, I'm spending only 20 seconds per polish. I limited myself a lot. We're just gonna go boom, boom, boom right on. So the reason this video is so long is because I just have so much color club. So let's go ahead and get right to it without any further ado. These are all the polishes that we're gonna go through and we're gonna look at each one individually, a swatch of them and an up close bottle shot. And whatever I'm gonna de-stash will end up on my store MV in the future. So let's go ahead and make some decisions. Okay, first up we have Crystal Baller and this is from the 2015 Halo Hues collection. Um, starting out with a bang here. I love this color and this polish, so this one will not be de-stashed. I plan on wearing it many more times. It has a great formula, so. From the Cabin Fever collection, we have Take a Hike. This is from fall 2015, and while it was recently released at the end of summer, I love this polish. I love that whole collection. It's so good. This is just such a beautiful shade of blue and perfect cream formula. Next, we have Icebreaker. This is from the Oil Slick collection, also 2015. This was a cool collection. Some of the multi-chromes or duochromes in here I liked better than others. I'm not really sure I'm gonna ever wear this one again, so I think I'm gonna de-stash this polish. It's cute though. So this polish is labeled Gift of Sparkle. I think I've decided it is mislabeled because when I look online, Gift of Sparkle is a purple with chunky holographic. Anyway, this is a scented polish. I like the color, but I don't love the scented quality, so I think I'm gonna de-stash it. Next up, we have Lavendarling. This is gonna be the first of a number of polishes that I have labeled myself on the bottom because I picked them up at Ross. They have different caps. They weren't labeled, so I labeled them myself. This is a beautiful purple. I love it. It comes from the Blossoming Collection 2012. I'm gonna hold on to this one. This next polish is Meet Me at the Rink from the Poptastic Pastel Neons for 2015. Um, a lot of the polishes in this collection I wasn't really too much of a fan of. Color Club has other very pale light blues that I really much more prefer the formula, so I will be de-stashing this one. Alright, so this polish Sky High is super sheer. It comes from the Take Wing collection for summer 2012. All the polishes in that collection are sheer, very shimmery and sparkly. Um, yeah, you really have to build this up to wear it on its own. It's just not worth it for me, so I'm going to go ahead and pass it on. This next polish comes from the Winter 2016 collection, Midnight Muse. This is Astro Naughty and... Again here we have a very light blue, almost gray shade that just didn't have my favorite formula. So I'm gonna pass this one on as well. Okay, from the Desert Valley Collection Summer 2015, I loved this collection. As you can see, this one's a little bit streaky, but I really like this blue. I would just do a little bit better application, but I felt like it was nice at two coats. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. Such a beautiful shade of blue. This gorgeous, beautiful, bright kind of plum, it's almost neon, but it's not quite neon, comes from the English Garden Collection last summer to fall, um, 2016. That whole collection was amazing. I really loved it, great formulas. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hang on to this one. Okay, taking it back a few more years, we have In Denial from the Safari Garden Collection, 2014 spring, and again, another collection I really love. This is an example of that kind of light powdery baby blue that has a really good formula, so I'm going to hold on to this one. Love it. 
All right, so this is one of the few polishes from the Midnight Muse collection from last fall that I did like. This is Meteorite. I bet you can guess why I like it. It's that beautiful coppery to orange shimmer in a purple base. This is a little bit sheer. It needs three coats, but I'm going to keep it, you guys, because I'm obsessed. This next polish, Ocean View, comes from the Sea Salt collection that released spring 2014. This was right when I first started making reviews. I think this was the first collection I reviewed. In any case, this is a really gritty texture. Not a lot of brands did this kind of texture, so I'm going to hang on to this because it's a color I really enjoy. Okay, look at this beautiful light aqua. This is Evolution from the 2016 Spring Kaleidoscope collection. It's so gorgeous, beautiful cream formula. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hang on to it. I really love this shade. Again here from the Desert Valley collection, this navy is so perfect, you guys. Pick this up if you're looking for a navy. It's my favorite ever. Great cream formula, I'm definitely keeping this. I know it seems like I'm probably not de-stashing a lot at this point. I love Color Club, you guys, but don't worry, they're coming. Speaking of a polish I'm going to de-stash, this is Personal Stylist. It comes from the True Fashion Collection for Fall 2012. Now originally Color Club called this a duochrome polish, but it really doesn't shine like duochromes that people are making now, especially indies. So I'm going to go ahead and de-stash it because I have others I like better. So this is Cash Only, again here from the Oil Slick Collection for Fall 2015. This collection of duochromes, they really didn't have the best flip and I had to wear them over black to make them really flippy. In any case, I'm going to hang on to this because it has a kind of cool color combo, but still this whole collection of duochromes wasn't my favorite. Another polish from the Spring 2012 Blossoming Collection, this is Sweet Pea. They did such a great job with these creams. I'm going to hang on to this one again here. I just think it's a very soothing, soft, rosy pink shade. Love it. So, yep, an oldie but a goodie. All right, so this is right on from the Poptastic collection for 2012 summer. You guys have heard me praise this collection so many times by now. It's my favorite neon collection of all time because they all have these cool shimmers. They dry matte. I just really, really love them. So I won't be de-stashing any of these, but enjoy looking at them. Next up, we have Savoy Nights. This comes from the Winter 2013 Harlem Lights Collection. This is a beautiful silver glitter in a slightly tinted blue base. As you know, I don't really love glitters. I probably just tried this out to see. But yeah, I will go ahead and de-stash this one. Here's another beauty from the 2015 Poptastic collection of neon brights, whatever you want to call them with that shimmer. This is Bell Bottom Babe. I love this polish so much. You guys, I highly recommend you just pick up this whole collection. Go ahead and head on over to transdesign.com where I can find them the most budget friendly. So this polish is Secret Agent. This is from the Alter Ego collection for spring 2011. So this is officially the most throwback polish. This is a beautiful purpley luster. I just don't think I'm going to be reaching for this polish very often. So I will go ahead and de-stash it. All right, you guys, can you guess? This one is a favorite of mine. This is Wicker Park from the Fall 2013 Girl About Town collection. It is so beautiful. Just this really bright pinky purple. If I have to wear pink, let it be a pinky purple. I love this one, so I'm going to hang on to it. This is Diggin' the Dancing Queen from the Poptastic Pastel Neon Collection for 2015. I had been thinking that I was going to de-stash this, but I've decided upon looking hot and looking at it that I just, I love the shade too much. The formula wasn't great in this collection, but I'm going to give this one a second chance. Okay, this next polish comes from the Midnight Muse Collection again. This is kind of a gimmicky polish. Remember when these cheetah glitters were super popular? <laughs> This one's called Cheetah Me Not. I mean, it's cute. It really is cute, and it has those iridescent glitters in there as well, but I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along. Fly With Me is another polish from the Take Wing Summer 2012 collection. As you can see, these are just so sheer. They have so much shimmer in it, which is, I'm guessing why they made them so sheer, but I just don't think I have time to build up. I think it was like four coats I needed for this. This is two that you're looking at here, so I'm going to de-stash this one. 
Again, another polish from that Midnight Muse collection from last fall, 2016. This is one of my favorite greens ever, especially from Color Club for sure. It's one of my favorite greens. It's just this really beautiful, muted, almost sage. It's so gorgeous. Cream formula. Love it. All right, guys, another collection I love. This is from the Paris and Love Collection, Spring 2014. This is La Petite Mentia. I don't know if I'm saying that right, you guys. This is such a beautiful, light mint. It's on the greeny side. It's so gorgeous. Um, yeah, keeping it. All right, you guys, this is Hot 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 Pants from That Pastel Poptastic Neons again. This is looking kind of cute on me right here, but I just don't reach for pink, so I'm going to be de-stashing most of my pinks today. This collection just didn't have really great formulas, so I'm going to pass it on to someone who's going to wear it. All right, another polish from the Desert Valley Summer 2015 collection. As much as I like that collection, I did not love this polish. Look at this streaky mess here on my nails. And it's a pink, so two reasons to go ahead and de-stash it. How am I doing, you guys? Am I doing okay? I hope so. So this is Indulge Me, and this is the first polish in the Fall 2014 Seven Deadly Sins collection that you're going to see today. This was one of my favorite out of the collection, but I really did like that whole collection. It has a different texture than the Sea Salt collection, so I think I am going to hang on to it. Another polish in the Spring 2014 Safari Garden collection. This is Lion's Den. This is a cool polish. It's like a, it's like a brassy gold with a pretty bright pink to peachy shimmer going on. This may surprise you, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass this on. I just don't think about wearing it. This one's actually really similar. This one's actually really similar. This is Sugar Rays from the Winter 2013 Harlem Lights collection. Um, again here, I just don't really think of wearing it. It is really similar to Lion's Den. It's just a little bit more sheer. Next we have Pearl Spective from the Spring 2013 Kaleidoscope Collection. This was silly of me. I should have swatched this over black because it's really the only way you're going to see the great qualities of this polish. It has a kind of pinky purple shimmer. Um, even though it does look pretty cool, I decided to go ahead and pass it on. Say hello to Foxy Mama, one of my favorite oranges. This is from the Poptastic for Summer 2014 collection. As we were talking about before, every collection, every polish in this collection is divine. So you know I'm going to hang on to it. Yes. This is Comfy Cozy from the Fall 2015 collection. It's just a muted almost kind of a dirty peach shade. I don't really even find myself thinking about this polish ever. So even though I love this whole collection, I'm gonna go ahead and de-stash this one because I just don't think I'm gonna wear it. This is almost famous. Google tells me that this is from a Poptastic collection, summer 2011. I'm not really positive on that one. This is a pretty good yellow. I'm actually going to go ahead and hold on to it, even though I don't have any other polishes from that collection, um, because it swatched pretty good. So I'm going to hang on to it. This is Jenna Sequa from the Paris and Love collection. This polish is so cool. It's this mm, kind of mustardy polish that really, you could really hate this, but I really love it. And it has a great formula, so I'm going to hang on to it. Next up, we have Once Upon a Time. This is from last holiday, 2016, the Under My Spell collection. That whole collection, I really didn't much care for. I think there was one polish in there I liked. This is just kind of an uninteresting beige with not a super great formula. It does have a little bit of shimmer, but I'm going to go ahead and pass it on. Here we have Twice Bitten. This is again from the Under My Spell collection or Under Your Spell. This is like the one I did like. This is a really beautiful, almost eggplant shade. It has a little bit too much red in it for eggplant. In any case, it has a gorgeous cream formula. So they did this one right. I'm going to hang on to it. Okay, the most OG one yet. We have Gossip Column from the Spring 2010 Rebel Debutante Collection. Color Club really knows how to do their darker creams. This one's great. It has a beautiful formula, and I just love the color, so I'm going to keep it. 
another dark muted blue. This is Baldwin Blues from the Harlem Lights collection for holiday 2013. This pretty much looks almost exactly like the last polish, but I'm going to keep them both. This one has less warmth in it, and it's just a great formula, so I'm going to keep it. The first polish we're looking at here from the Back to Boho Fall 2011 collection, this is Shabby Drab. I actually repurchased this when I grabbed some 99 cent polishes from Trans Design for Color Club because I love this so much. So that polish will go in a giveaway. It's just a beautiful light blue gray. Oh, I love it. Another polish from the Blossoming Collection, Spring 2012. This is kind of similar to that last one we just looked at, but mine is more purple in the bottle. I've seen some online where they look more blue, but anyway, I love the shade. It's gorgeous. It's a perfect light periwinkle purple to blue. Just love it. So this is Holy Chic from the Paris and Love Collection, Spring 2014. I love this one. It's just a little bit lighter than Hydrangea Kiss, and it is a little bit more purpley. Gorgeous formula for such a light polish. Really, really love this polish and the whole collection, so I'm going to keep this one. All right, this polish is such a favorite. This is In the Limelight from the Fall 2012 In True Fashion collection. It's just the perfect blurple. More on the purple side than blue. Gorgeous formula. I just, I really, really love this polish. I gravitate towards these kind of shades, I know, but this one's gonna stay with me. Next up we have Silver Lake. This is from the Fall 2013 Girl About Town collection. This is just a very, very, very light gray. And you guys know I love grays, but I just don't ever find myself thinking about this polish. It does have a pretty good formula though, so I'm gonna give it another chance to impress me. So for now, I'm going to hold on to it. So next we're looking at Bright Night. This is from the Kaleidoscope Summer 2013 collection. I have a few blues like this coming up. Um, this one has an okay formula, but it's not the best. So I've decided I'm going to go ahead and pass this along to someone who will wear it because I just don't think about it in my collection. So another blue here, we have Endless Summer from the Spring 2013 Fiesta collection. I really did like that collection in general, and I have them in these kind of bottles that don't have the labels again. This blue, I have a lot of blues. It's not my favorite, so actually I'm going to go ahead and let this one go as well. Another blue for you, we have Chelsea Girl this time from the Old School Poptastic Neons. Um, as you can see, this isn't really a neon shade, but it does have that kind of formula where it's not super opaque, better with a white base, just not my favorite kind of formula. And if I remember right, this one kind of stains, so I'm going to pass it on. So this is Three Wishes. This is the other polish from the Under Your Spell collection. Look at this hollow. This is the only other one that I liked from that collection. I don't love glitter that much, but this is a glitter texture, and the hollow is so beautiful in this one. So I'm going to keep it for sure, and I definitely recommend you pick it up. All right, the next polish from the Summer 2014 Poptastic Collection. This is Peace, Love, and Polish. This is one of my favorite pinks ever. Just look how bright neon that is, and it has that gorgeous gold shimmer. You guys have heard me say lots of times now how much I love this collection. I just, I hope you see why. It's just absolutely stunning. Next we have Save the Date from the New Rules of Engagement collection came out spring 2016. This is supposed to be kind of like a rose gold I think. I just I really didn't like it. I actually didn't really enjoy that collection very much. I'm surprised I held on to it. So you'll probably be seeing a lot of it de-stashed today. Okay this color is so rad. This is Oh Dear from the Fall 2015 Cabin Fever collection. I just love this. It's definitely an ugly pretty shade. It's somewhere in between like a snot and poop color. <laughs> but I just think it's too cool. I love polishes that don't really look like a lot of other things. So I'm going to keep it. Okay, so on the complete other end of the spectrum, as far as yellows are concerned at least, this is Macaroon Swoon. I think this is a beautiful shade. Nothing ugly about it. This is a very gorgeous bright but light pastel yellow. Oh, I love it so much. Paris and Love, that collection is so beautiful, so I'm keeping this one. Another yellow here, this is Daisy Does It from the Take Wing collection. Again, this beautiful, bright, kind of flecky shimmer. These take almost four coats or more, actually, to get opaque. I just don't ever really think to wear them again, so I'm going to go ahead and de-stash this one as well, along with all of her sisters.
All right, another fantastically beautiful, ugly, pretty shade. This is Tribe and True from the spring 2014 Safari Garden Collection. I love this so much because the formula has this almost crelly, you know, consistency. It also gives that kind of swampy feel. I just love this so much, so I'm going to hang on to it. Wow, okay, another green that I am just so in love with. This is It's About Time from last year's English Garden Collection. Pick up that whole collection. It's amazing. This has a beautiful formula. It's a beautiful muted kind of going towards yellow green that's just fabulous. I love it. Okay, so while I was de-stashing a bunch of blues, I'm actually going to keep another green here. This is Wild Cactus from the Fiesta Collection from quite a few years back. Um, I am going to keep this from that collection. I'm de-stashing a bunch, but this is one that I just really love the color of. And so, yeah, it's going to hang out a little bit more. Man, it's tough making these decisions so quickly. I can barely fit them in in 20 seconds. Um, this is another polish from the Take Wing collection. This is Metamorphosis. As you know, I'm de-stashing the whole collection basically because look at how sheer they are and I just don't really want to layer them or wear them as toppers. So, yep, bye-bye. Same story as the last one. This is from that same Take Wing collection. This is Wing Fling. This is probably one of my favorites from that collection because it is a little bit more opaque than the rest. This is a really beautiful medium pink flecky shimmer. It is really gorgeous, but meh, it's all right. I'm going to pass it on. Another polish from the Blossoming Collection, this is Blushing Rose. This polish is actually pretty good for, you know, as far as light pinks go. You can see a little bit of streakiness there. Um, you know, in my efforts to de-stash, trying to find any reason I can to de-stash things, and this is pink, and I don't really think about it, so I'm going to de-stash it. This is Kapow, again, from that beautiful Neon Poptastic collection. You guys know the drill by now. This one is staying with me. It's not going to go anywhere. And in fact, I think that you should go pick this up if you like pinks. And hey, I don't even like pinks, but I love this one. This is Many Moons Ago, which is actually a really cool glitter combo. I love all that bright kind of brassy orangey gold in there with the off-white and the purple. This is a fun glitter combo, but you guys, I'm just really not about glitter. This is from last fall's Midnight Muse collection, so I will be listing this polish for a de-stash as well. All right, so next up, this is Dark Magic. This comes from the Under Your Spell collection from last holiday. This is just a really, really deep chocolatey brown. Um, I don't think about this one very much, but this is a shade that I like to wear, so I am going to go ahead and keep this one. Again, from the Under Your Spell collection last holiday, this is Lovey Dovey. This looks gorgeous in the bottle. That bright, a little bit thicker shimmer, though, sometimes gives Color Club a problem. This formula was not good. I really didn't care for this. This was a polish that was a big reason of why I didn't like that collection, so I'm going to go ahead and pass it on. Next we have Seaside from the Sea Salt Collection. You guys know this is that kind of gritty texture, a little bit more textured than other kinds. This has a beautiful gold shimmer. I am going to hang on to this because I am still really enjoying texture. I don't really wear it that often, but I like to have the option to. And so, yeah, I'm going to keep this one. A lot of the polishes from last fall winter are really showing up here together. This is Unfazed. This is from the Midnight Muse Collection. This is a really beautiful lustry orange. I just don't see myself ever really wanting to wear this in particular, but I know someone's going to really love this, so I'm going to go ahead and list this for D-Stash. Next up, we have Lady Holiday. This is from the Holiday 2013 Harlem Lights Collection, and this is a beautiful light gray. You guys know the deal with me and grays. I have to really not like it to want to D-Stash it, and this one has a great formula. It's an oldie but a goodie, so I'm going to hang on to it and continue to wear it. All right, so this is Fingers Crossed from the 2015 Halo Hues collection. This collection actually grew on me after I realized that they're just basically were adding a little pinch of shimmer to their silver polishes, to their silver linear holographics. And this one has some gold in it, and I actually really like it, so I'm going to hang on to it. Next up, we have Teal for Two from the English Garden Collection. I mean, you guys, I've told you that collection is bomb. This color is so good. Online, it looks way more green on people's swatches than it looks here on me. Um, in any case, I think it's fabulous, and I could have thrown out those other two blue-greens. 
Okay, so here we have Obsessed from the Deadly Sins collection. All that beautiful green and blue shimmer is hidden because of this polish's matteness. Um, so by itself, it actually just kind of looks like a clump of coal there on the nail wheel. But I'm going to keep it because I do really like it when you put a top coat on it. So this is first looks from the In True Fashion collection again, fall 2012. The pictures online that I saw of this when I decided to purchase it originally show this like teal shimmer being really strong. For me, it really doesn't show up. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this along because I don't ever really think of wearing it over like a cream gray. Next up we have Williamsburg. This is from the Girl About Town collection. This is gorgeous. I really, really love this shade. Um, it's just this beautiful shimmering almost navy blue. So I'm going to hang on to this. I had originally thought I was going to de-sash it, but looking at it again here, I think I'm going to keep it. Again, from the Desert Valley Summer 2015 collection, we have Prickly Pear. This is such a cool shade of greeny yellow goo. I just love it. Um, this one has a little bit of a thinner formula, definitely more of a curly to jelly, but I really like weird shades. All right, so another polish from the Poptastic Pastel Neons that I am going to de-stash. This is Disco's Not Dead. A lot of the polishes in that collection, like I said, have this funky formula that just is too streaky. And if I don't really love the shade, then I'm going to pass on. So even though this is a yellow, I'm going to go ahead and de-stash it. All right, so this is Winter Affair from the Winter Affair collection of scented shimmers or metallics. This is a metallic antique gold. Um, like I said before, I really don't like my polish to be scented. It gives me a headache, so I'm going to go ahead and pass on this one to someone who doesn't mind that. All right, so this polish, Toasted, comes from the New Rules of Engagement for Spring 2016. Like I mentioned, I didn't really care for that collection. This one I just didn't like because it's a glitter, but it actually is a really beautiful glitter if you enjoy wearing them. All that gold and then the pop of pink, and I just think it is a really cool one, but I'm going to pass it on. Piece of Cake is another polish from that New Rules of Engagement collection. This polish let me down so hard. I thought it was going to be so, so great, but the formula was not good. It was sheer and streaky. You don't want to have to do too many coats of this because it builds up thick and just never dries. And oh man, I didn't care for it, but I'm going to pass it on. Okay, next we have a beautiful red lookbook from the In True Fashion Fall 2012 collection. I have so many reds at this point that this one, because it's a little bit streaky looking here on the nail, I'm going to trust this swatch on the nail wheel and just go ahead and pass this one on because I have others that have formulas I prefer. Another polish from the Pastel Poptastic Neons. This is Feather Hair Out to There. This one actually does not look too bad here on the nail wheel. But because it's pink, I'm going to go ahead and pass it on to someone who will really enjoy wearing it. It was from that collection that had the kind of tricky formulas, but I think someone else is really going to enjoy this. So next up we have Je Tem. I'm not really sure if I'm saying that right, but this is from the Paris and Love collection. Now this pink I can get on board with. It just has the more typical cream formula that I am more about. Not the kind of hybrid, a little bit too squishy formula to layer. So this one I'm going to keep. Next up we have Favorite Flannel, and this is from the Cabin Fever collection. I love this so much. It's just this beautiful shade of burnt orange. And it has a gorgeous two-coat cream formula. This is, again, this the kind of cream that I really, really love. It's easy to apply. You don't really have to mess around with it. So this one's staying with me. Next up, we have Model Behavior from the In True Fashion Collection. This is a really gorgeous, rich, bronze, luster kind of shade. Um, I just don't really think of wearing this very often. So I'm going to go ahead and pass it on because I'm trying to de-stash. I'm trying to, you know, have less. So let's pass it on. All right, another polish that just wasn't for me. Look at that beautiful shimmer, but it just did not work out formulation-wise. This is No Ordinary Love from the Under Your Spell collection. I just don't really care for how that swatch looks there on the left. So I'm going to pass this on to someone who would like to wear it more than I would, and I hope it works out for them. Can you guess whether or not I'm going to keep this? <laughs> this polish is so gorgeous. It's a beautiful militant green cream. This is Into the Woods and it's from the Cabin Fever collection. And yep, another one I'm going to keep. I love that whole collection, you guys. So this one's staying with me. 
All right, next up we have Pearl District from the Girl About Town collection. This one I'm on the fence with because it is such a cool shade of gold because it has like some green in there. But I just don't know if I want to wear it. I'm going to go ahead and pass it on. This is really, really cool. So somebody pick this up. <laughs> All right, so another polish from the Under My Spell collection from last winter, you guys. Every single time I've said Under Your Spell, I meant Under My Spell. Um, look at that beautiful hollow. You know, I'm going to go ahead and pass on this. I think it's supposed to look like fallen snow, but it just wasn't for me. But I think someone else is really going to love this, so I'll pass it on. Again, here from the English Garden collection, this is Pinkies Up, which is this beautiful... Mm, it's on the yellow side of a sore, like an orange sorbet. This is just so beautiful. It's like making my mouth water just looking at the tanginess of it. Beautiful cream formula. I definitely recommend. This is an orange I'm hanging on to. Oh my goodness, you guys. This polish is so beautiful. This is Nail Roby from the 2014 Safari Garden Collection. It is so divine. One of my most favorite navies. It has a little pinch of purple in there too. Oh, it's so, so beautiful. So I definitely recommend you go pick one up yourself. All right, so this is under the black light from the Pastel Neons, the Poptastic Pastel Neons. And this is looking pretty neon here on my nail wheel. Um, the formula, I just didn't really care for it. So I'm going to go ahead and de-stash it. I hope somebody will really get some good use out of this one. Just not my favorite neon. All right, next up we have Sunrise Canyon from the Fiesta Collection. You guys know I hold on to shades like this. It's just too fun. There were never polishes that looked like this back in the day, so I just can't help it. I have to hold on to it. I will wear this again very soon. I'm going to force myself to go ahead and wear this because I love it. All right, this is Pinspiration from the New Rules of Engagement collection last spring. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a fun combination of glitters. It's just not really for me. So I am going to pass this on, and hopefully somebody else will make a happy home for it in their collection. All right, Dirty Money. This is from the Dev and Deadly Sins collection, and this is a really gorgeous gold. It's like a light silvery gold. It's on the lighter side, not too intense of a color. You can see those slightly larger glitters in there. I love this collection. Um, textured polishes. Yeah, staying around. Next, we have Date with Destiny. This is another gorgeous Halo Hues for 2015 collection. You can really see with this one what I was talking about with that hint of shimmer. So this one's definitely like a fuchsia to purple shimmer going on in this silver linear holographic. Um, so yeah, I'm going to hang on to this one as well. Next up we have Love is Love, and this is from the New Rules of Engagement collection as well. This polish is okay. Um, the formula could have been a little bit better, but just because I know that Color Club can do such a great job with their creams. This one was one of the better ones out of the collection, but I think I'm going to pass this one on and de-stash it. Next up we have Beyond, and this is a beautiful linear holographic, like darker, dark gray to black linear holographic. I did receive this polish as a gift. It's the only um, halo hues that I have from the 2013 set. I'm going to go ahead and hang on to it. It's a beautiful shift. This is Ho Ho Holly from the Winter Affair collection. Um, those scented polishes. I, this is one of my favorites from that collection because it's green with that beautiful gold shimmer. But like I said, I just really can't stand the scented nature of this polish because it just lingers for way too long. And any time it goes near my face, I smell it. So I don't really like that. Next up, we have Men Are From Mars. This is um, from last year's fall collection. This is the Midnight Muse collection. This is a really beautiful cream. I love this shade of it. Is it brick? Is it maroon? Uh, is it berry? I just really like it. It has a great formula as well. Next up, we have Mamba, and this is a perfectly wonderful um, fiery red polish or cream from the Fiesta collection. I'm just going to de-stash it for the simple reason that I have way too many red polishes, but look at this. This is gorgeous. So I'm going to list this on my de-stash page, but I will put it for just, you know, some change because it doesn't have the original label. All right, so this is Sorry Not Sorry from the Oil Slick Collection. Originally, I was thinking I was going to de-stash this because it doesn't have the best shift. And it's also definitely a three-coater unless you wear this over black. But I just can't help myself. I'm looking at it here on the nail wheel. And last minute decision, I'm going to change my mind and keep this one. 
Burnt Out, also from the Oil Slick Collection. This one has a much stronger shift. This is probably one of the strongest in the collection. Um, typically, duochromes, this red to gold has a really strong shift in almost you know, like every collection I've seen this kind of polish in. I don't ever see the green you see in that bottle, but I'm going to keep this one. Next up, we have Style Icon. This is from the In True Fashion Collection again. This one, as you can see there on the swatch wheel, I don't know. I'm not really feeling that formula. I think it's because it's going towards a jelly, so it's just a little bit more translucent. I don't really think I'm going to be reaching for this, so I will pass it on. All right, so next up we have this beautiful shimmering deep purple called Alias from the Keep It Undercover Spring 2011 collection. Don't have a lot from that collection. Originally, I was way more into this polish than I am now. I just, I like other things. I don't feel like this is worth my time to build it up. So I'm gonna pass this on to someone else who will love it. This is Flamingo. Look at this beautiful pink. I'm actually going to hang on to this. This is one of my favorite pinks as well. This is from the Fiesta collection. So going back old school, but it has a gorgeous formula. I just love this so much. I don't like to mess around with pinks, so they have to really have an impeccable formula for me to want to wear them. So I'm keeping this one. All right, so next up we have East Austin from the Girl About Town Fall 2013 collection. This is definitely a fan favorite. Well known for this bright, beautiful peach shade. It's super bright. Um, it's not the best formula, but it's not bad. I just wish it was just a little bit better, but I'm definitely keeping it. So we have Safari Sunset, and this is from the Safari Garden collection, and it is, um, it's so beautiful. I'm trying to decide, though, if I'm going to wear this again. I think I'm going to keep it. I just think that that glowing gold shimmer is just too awesome, so I'm going to keep it. Next up we have In Theory, and this is from the Kaleidoscope Collection. This is this beautiful cantaloupe shade. As you can see there on the nail wheel, it's a little bit streaky at two coats, but I just love cantaloupe shades because they're kind of orange that I really enjoy wearing because they're cool toned. So yeah, I'm going to keep this. Look Don't Tusk is also from the Safari Garden Collection, and it's this beautiful ivory with just a little pinch, a little pinch. A pinch of like um, buttercup cream yellow. Um, this is great. It's not perfect formula again, but I really like it. All right, next up we have Poetic Hues from the Harlem Lights collection. Um, this is a kind of fun shade to wear. I like this for a neutral, but as you can see on the left, it's a little bit streaky. So I'm just going to go off of that and de-stash this in my efforts to get my collection down to a more reasonable size. So yeah, I'm going to pass this one on. This is Leaf Me Alone, and this is from the Cabin Fever collection, and I love it so much. That collection was just brilliant. <laughs> Whoever was behind the design for that collection, I just love it so much. Um, so yeah, even though this, as you can see, it was a little bit streaky on two coats, I'm going to love on it so hard and keep it. Not So Mellow Yellow is from the Poptastic Neons and... As you can see, again, a little bit streaky there, but I'm going to go ahead and excuse that because I love this whole collection. I think I would just either do a more careful application or I would just go for a third coat with this one, but this one is staying with me as well. Coastline, this is from the Sea Salt Collection, and it's a beautiful white, very textured texture polish. Very gritty. I think I ordered this one again as well recently from Trans Design for 99 cents. None of those polishes are showing up in this D-stash, by the way, because I haven't even worn them once yet. So anyway, I'm going to keep this one. Diamond Drops is a beautiful, um, you know, they're glitter shards. Holographic Glitter Shards. This is really, really pretty. I'm not going to keep it just because I don't ever look to wear something like this. Um, not that there's anything wrong with it. It's just my personal preference. I don't usually go for glitter toppers, so I'm going to pass it on. This is Blooming from the Blossoming Collection, and it's like not blue at all. This is a beautiful, very light, mm, very, very light pastel aqua green. Ugh. It's so gorgeous. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep this one. This is in that older bottle with no label, but I'm keeping it. This is Abyss, and this is from the uh, Kaleidoscope Collection, and it's really, really gorgeous. It's, mm, it's on the green side of teal. It's a beautiful two-coat formula. This one looks like it would be a real stainer, but it doesn't stain me, so I'm going to go ahead and hang on to this one as well. 
Okay, this is portfolio. And as you're looking there on the left, you're probably thinking to yourself, why is she gonna keep this? It's streaky. Well, look on the right. This is one of my favorite polishes ever made. This is why the very first polish I ever created was very purpley. I love that purple with the shimmer and the green is just so cool. Definitely keeping it. All right, next up we have Road Trip and this is from the Desert Valley collection. And it's a beautiful kind of muted gray blue. I'm realizing now that I have quite a few of these. So maybe I should have passed on to those ones earlier on, but I am gonna hang on to this one as well. All right, you guys, what is your guess? Am I keeping this? Obviously I'm keeping this. This is by design from the Into Fashion collection. Um, it's just so beautiful. It's exactly me. This is the kind of color I could wear every single day of my life. It has a gorgeous two coat formula. It's absolutely perfection. I know I kept one that's like this already, but I'm keeping it. Okay, Friends with Benefits comes from the Seven Deadly Sins collection. Again, you know, I really like these polishes. I still really enjoy texture, and I like the added slightly larger glitters in there. I just think they did a great job with this collection, and it was completely copied by L'Oreal. <laughs> They came out at the same time, those two collections, it was so weird. Okay, this is On the Rocks. This is from the Fiesta collection, and it is a very beautiful silver. Um, I have a lot of silvers like this. There's really nothing like speaking to me as I'm looking at this right here though. So I'm gonna go ahead and de-stash this polish. Next up we have Musical, and this is from the In True Fashion collection. That collection was really banging. This is one of my favorite grays ever. If you don't have this and you love gray polish, you need to fix that. This is a really, really great two coat perfect formula gray. So definitely keeping this one. What's your sign from the 2015 Halo Hues? Again, this actually looks very similar to the other one that I said I was keeping that looks like it's purpley fuchsia shimmer in there. Um, so I don't know what the difference is here. <laughs> A lot of those polishes look the same, but I am going to go ahead and keep this. Till the Record Stops is from that Pastel Neon Remix Poptastic collection. <laughs> a lot of words in that uh, name for that collection. Anyway, this is beautiful. It's very bright um, neon, but I'm going to pass it on because I didn't love the formula of these, like I said before, but somebody else is going to love this. You're So Vain comes from that Seven Deadly Sins collection. Whoa, I love this polish so much. It's that beautiful deep indigo purple, has some shimmer in there, some glitters in there, and yeah, it's just gorgeous and I love it. I actually have a polish coming out very soon that looks like this, but it's not textured. All right, so keeping that. Long Live the Queen comes from the English Garden Collection, and okay, I love this. So usually I don't really like this kind of metallic that shows the brush strokes a little bit, but I really love this because I think this is my only green, like mossy, sagey green metallic that I have. Love it, keeping it. Just My Luck also comes from the Halo Hues for 2015. This one looks like it has um, blue and gold shimmer in it. I actually am really digging this one. It does look very similar to all the rest and they have these subtle differences. I wish that they kind of like changed it up a little bit more, but it's kind of like the color kissed um, hollows from I Love Nail Polish that just came out. So anyway, keeping that one. This is Fierce from the Seven Deadly Sins collection and I'm gonna keep this one as well. If you're noticing a trend, I'm keeping that whole collection pretty much. I just really like them. I think they did a great job and these all look pretty cool with top coat on them as well, but I'm showing it to you in its natural state. Wow, okay, look at this. <laughs> I always forget how bright this polish is. This is also from the English Garden Collection from last spring. This is Primrose, it is so bright. Oh my goodness, this is like that purple, perfect pinky purple. I really recommend you go purchase this ASAP. Next up we have Rocky Mountain High and this comes from the Desert Valley collection. Now this is like an oxblood red, you know, blood red jelly, curly to jelly that I can get behind. Rather than by design from the Intro Fashion collection, I'm going to hang on to this one. It has a slightly better formula and this polish is just really sexy. Okay, this is Endless from the Kaleidoscope collection. This is actually a pretty good formula. Look at that swatch there. It's not very streaky for a very light pink, but I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on because it's pink. I was just basically holding on to this to keep the collection as a whole, but I'm gonna go ahead and de-stash it.
Sparkle and Soar from the Take Wing collection. This is another one that I think is pretty good out of that collection. Um, I just love that really bright gold fleck in there. But it's a little too sheer for me to really want to mess around with trying to build it up. So I will go ahead and de-stash it for a very reasonable price. Alright, so this is fondue for two. This in the bottle looks super green. And granted, it does have a pinch of green in there. But on the left, I feel is what it looks like more and you know in real life in real life anyway this is from the Paris and Love collection I love this soft chocolatey muted mousy brown love it cup of cocoa this is from the cabin fever collection this is a really really deep chocolate with some red in it it is so perfect this one looks almost black on the nail the formula is so good it's perfect at two coats I feel like a broken record at this point that collection is just amazing Okay, so this is Twiggy. This is an oldie. Look at how bright and gorgeous that is. This beauty comes from the original, well not the original, but you know the old school Poptastic Neons from 2011. This is really, really good. This stands up, stands the test of time. This is a good one. Okay, so this is Plus One, and this is from the New Rules of Engagement collection, and I actually really liked this. This is an iridescent topper that I really 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 enjoy and I am normally not too much about these kind of toppers but this is like one of the few out of that collection I liked I'm gonna hang on to it all right next up we have marina and this is from the sea salt collection this is definitely a kind of it's an interesting antique gold shade it has some green in there which makes it it's really, really interesting. Anyway, I am going to hang on to it. I was thinking I was going to maybe de-stash it, but I think I'm going to keep it around for a little while longer. All right, so this is Showtime, also from the Intro Fashion Collection, but I am going to de-stash this one. I like the charcoal gray, but it just doesn't seem rich enough to me or something. It's just, it's a little bit too subdued. Um, so I am going to go ahead and de-stash this and pass it on to someone who will wear it. So this is Blue Beaded from the Modern Mosaic collection. This is the only one I have from that collection. It's just kind of a light dusting of um, very small white and blue glitters. They're matte glitters. Um, yeah, I just don't really, I don't really think to wear this very often. So I'm going to de-stash it. Next up we have Eat, Drink, and Be Married. This is from the New Rules of Engagement collection. And another one that I just really didn't care for. I just thought this was kind of, mm, it was just okay. And it didn't have the best formula. So yeah, I'm going to pass this on to someone who will wear it. Next up we have the Uptown and this is from the Girl About Town collection. Just look at that beauty. This isn't the most opaque thing ever, but I am definitely holding on to it. Sorry about the shakiness there. Um, one of the kids was banging onto the table while I was trying to film. Anyway, this is gorgeous. Just look at those iridescent glitters. Love it. All right, so this is Under Your Spell and this is my favorite of the Seven Deadly Sins polishes. Just look at that beautiful purple with the greeny gold shimmer. Oh my goodness, this is so divine. This is the polish that made me fall in love with that entire collection and I could de-stash the rest of them and just hold on to this one. I love it so much. So this is Grand Dame or I don't really know how to say it correctly. I had trouble in the video too with this one. This comes from the English Garden Collection. This was the least interesting one to me. It is um, a lustry metallic with a pinch of blue, like a silver with a bit of blue. I am going to keep it though. All right, so this is Apollo Star, and this is from the Harlem Lights Collection from um, Holiday or Winter 2013. This is a very silvery, like champagne gold. Um... It just doesn't really appeal to me that much. I haven't really thought to wear it ever after getting it, so I'm going to pass it on. This is Starlight Star Bright from the 2015 Halo Hues. This looks really similar to the other one I kept. Um, you know, maybe in my next D-Stash I only kept keep a few of these because they're just so similar. I don't know why they did that. But anyway, I see like some gold and maybe some green in here. All right, so this is Novu Vintage from the Back to Boho collection. 
Um, this is kind of like a silvery, browny, red. I'm not really sure what it is, actually. But I don't love it enough to keep it. <laughs> so I'm going to pass it on, I hope, as somebody grabs it and they really, really love it. All right, so this is Grand Canyon from the Desert Valley Collection. And, of course, I love this so much. It's a beautiful shade of orange that I really love. It's not really cool toned, but I really enjoy it. And it's soft. It's a great application in two coats. Yeah, keeping it. Keep, keep, keep. All right, We'll Never Be Royals from the Oil Slick Collection. This is another one that had a pretty good duochrome look on the nail. Um, I don't know. I don't really see myself kind of grabbing for this very much, but I am going to hold on to it now, but I may de-stash it in the near future. All right, so we have reached the So Lit collection. This is Blaze. This is from their recent Very, Very Bright Cream collection, and I love the whole thing. So I won't be de-stashing any of these last, what is it, 10 polishes. So basically, we're just going to look at how fabulous these polishes are. They have gorgeous pigmentation. Um, I just, I love the colors. They stayed in kind of reds, pink, oranges, yellows and blues so basically there's like well that really only leaves out like purple huh but anyway <laughs> the collection did seem um not one note but you know what I mean like definitely stayed on this certain kind of look however I really really loved it even shades like this where it's just you I mean you can see a little bit of streakiness I still really really liked it um so yeah that's another collection that I recommend the whole thing. Honestly, when I purchased the whole thing, it was a bit of, um, it was, I basically wasn't sure I was really going to like it because I thought, oh, wow, all these look, colors look kind of the same. We've got some greens that look similar to the other ones, some teals that look similar to the other ones, oranges, reds. That's what I thought, but after having them on, I really enjoyed every single shade I feel like this sounds like I'm doing a commercial. I'm not. None of the none of the videos on my channel are that way. This is just how I get when I really, really like something. And I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like you're missing out if you don't try any of these because the formula was that good. I haven't liked a collection from them as much as this one since probably the English Garden, and that was last spring of 2016 so anyway I definitely feel like there's a shade here for everyone I can only find color club the cheapest I can find it is trans design right now and they're like 650 no they're not they're like four something on trans design but they don't have the most recent collection which you can find on head to toe beauty and there they're like 650 so they're not the most budget friendly brand for me to purchase right now um but anyway I really like this collection and it is on trans design where they have it for a little bit less expensive um yeah I just hope you're look enjoying looking at all these beautiful shades like I said I'm not going to de-stash any of them um let me just go ahead and wrap up telling you about the de-stash once I get a number of brands you know gone through this de-stash process which this video took me like five days to film and edit it is so time consuming to put on all these little edits, which is why it took so long and which is why I'm so long between putting up videos in this series because it's just so time consuming. But once I get a number of them up, I will list them all on my store envy site and I will make sure to let you guys know, you know, on social media and in like a swatch fest. And then you can basically just pick from the different brands that I've de-stashed from. And um, yeah. So if you haven't ever checked out my store MV, it's always linked in the description bar of my videos. There's not a ton on there right now um, because I just haven't filled the shop back up in a little while. But once I get, like I said, some more polishes de-stashed, we will fill that store up and you can shop between the brands that I have, um, you know, gone ahead and thinned out a little bit. But anyway, um, yeah, I think that's everything you need to know. We're going to go ahead and wrap up here with this um, last polish coming up, and then I'm going to show you the um, images of what I'm keeping and what I am de-stashing like I did for the Pure Ice collection. And if you missed that one, definitely go check it out. That was a good one as well. I slashed a lot of polishes in my Pure Ice stash as well. Oh, such a beautiful polish to end on. It's so gorgeous. All right, guys, so here are the polishes that I am keeping. 
And here are the polishes that I am going to list to de-stash, that I'm de-stashing. I'm trying to thin out my collection slowly. Well, I'd rather do it quickly than slowly, but it just takes a really, really long time to do it this way. Um, but I really want you guys to, you know, be able to get a good look at each of the polishes and, you know, just see. It's kind of like a swatching my collection video at the same time as D-Stash. I think it's actually kind of fun if you can stay on the hour-long video. So if you are still here, you are the most awesome sauce ever because this was a super long video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what collection you want me to D-Stash next. I won't be doing SE OPI or China Glaze right now because those are brands that everybody wants comparisons for. So it doesn't really make sense for me to D-Stash right now. But um, yeah, throw it out there in the comments. Let me know what brand you want to see next and then that will help me um, decide because I want to do what you guys want to see and what you want to show up in my D-Stash um, on Store Envy. So you guys, thanks for hanging through all the way to the end. I will see you back in the next video. Take care, you guys. Love you. Bye.